This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Rachel, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Lilith, Elise, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Devalina, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Camiel, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Allison, Obsessed, Brianna, Maria, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Chappie, and Kayla. If you would like to support the channel and get access to cool perks like weekly audios and weekly novel readings, the link is in the description. Hello, how are you doing? Um, listen, I, 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 I know that this is a horrible first impression <laughs> for the situation, but you need to understand that uh, this text message is, is a matter of life or death uh, because it revolves around a teenage girl who just happens to be my younger sister and some boy problems. <laughs> yes, that is that you heard right. Uh, and if we do not address this right now, or I don't know why I said we, it's just me who's addressing it. If, if I do not address this right now, I'm going to be in a very, very, very bad place when I come home on the weekend. And I don't want to be in that bad place. I'd rather have my younger sister not crying and knowing that she's way too good for all of these bums in high school in their senior year of high school thinking that they're all that talking to multiple girls at once when you don't need that at all not what anything whatsoever no 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 uh so let me just finish this up and we are sending there we go bada bing bada boom okay Ha uh, d- d- have I been in this room too long? Am I hallucinating? Cause I, I swear that you're in front of me right now. And the only times that I see you in front of me are times that we are in classes together. Uh, or times when I am having a nightmare and I wake up and I have sleep paralysis and you're the demon in the corner looking at me and talking about random things that you will never stop talking about and telling me how much you don't want me near you even though you keep following me around to every single room that I go to in my dreams. So what's nightmares? So what's going on here? Is this, is this real? Uh Oh, Matt and Lila, Matt and Lila, two people that both respectively claim to be our friends yet have put us in quite possibly the worst situation of all time that's ever existed. Great, awesome. I I bet both of us are going to have some words with them after this, aren't they, aren't we? Well, you know what? I'm glad we're on the same page. This is not where either of us want to be, and we are going to give them an earful when we get out of here. So, I don't know. I don't really want any problems tonight, if we're being honest. We both, I'm I'm sure we both came to this party to have a good time and enjoy ourselves, and we can really get back to doing that as soon as both of us get out of this room after the seven minutes but let's be real it's not going to be seven minutes they never make it seven minutes they always make it longer than that because they're like "Ooh, ha 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 i bet they're doing something uh and even though in this case they know that we wouldn't be so uh yeah <laughs> awesome let's just sit here in silence uh what's your phone percentage at you are so annoying what what information could i extract from you that's personal by me at like what do you need to know it's it, it's a valid question it's not asking anything significant of you just want to know your phone percentage no i don't oh you are annoying i don't just want to know your phone percentage as a random fact that's not something that i was thinking hmm i wish i knew that right now because it's the only thing that's been on my mind no i want to know i have a follow-up to that jeez okay thank you was that so hard (laughs) 
hey, thought we said we weren't taking swings at each other, but I'll let you know that multiple think people think that I am interesting, including my mother. Yeah, that's the joke. Anyways, let me let me get to my thing, please. I I had something. I was just gonna say, just wanted to get it out, and if I didn't get it out, then I would feel weird. All I was gonna say is, since your phone is at that percentage, I feel like we could both be on our phones for an hour, respectively, in either corner of the room, not talking to each other, just playing. You you got games on your phone, type beat, um, and just wait until they get us out of this room. Wait, have you, like, you're, you're, you're part of the friend group. You are part of the friend group. You have, like, for sure gone to one of these parties, right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's very, very, very sweet uh, of you to think that. But no, uh, the door locks on the outside. Yep. Yep. They lock it on the outside, and that's they come and they unlock it, and you get out. So we are stuck here, literally. We could get out one of the windows, but there's nothing to climb down, and uh, I do not think a two-story fall would be beneficial to either of us. As much as uh, we, ha you know, spar a little bit and aren't big fans of each other, uh, I, I don't think I would like to see you break your neck anytime soon. <laughs> very nice very classy gotta love it gotta so sweet thank you so much i'll make sure to break my neck for you in the future honey bun mm, i will now oh god it would be so awesome if we did that thing what was it called i don't know not talking to each other <laughs> yeah that sounds great all right cool i'm just gonna you know do some word puzzles or whatever to like did raise my IQ a little bit because uh, after this conversation, it's definitely gone down. Mm, no, yeah, I I do get to say that. Uh, and the reason I get to say that is because you literally said, I don't know, 20 seconds ago, that you would love to see me break my neck. And frankly, I think that my uh, little, little jab at you was much lesser than that. So let's, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, and by it, I mean not talking to each other because this has been a nightmare. Oh, 10 whole seconds, 10 seconds. It took you 10, you know, you, you put out a valiant effort. In seven minutes, 10 seconds is almost like 3% or something. I don't know the exact math on it, but I'm, I'm really proud of you for being able to like not utter noise out of your mouth for that long. Uh, but, you know, of course, it had to be an insult that came out. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just here <laughs> existing, trying to have a solid time. In fact, trying to ensure that you have a solid time. But now you're here provoking me. <laughs> and, and now I'm going to have to do it back to you. I didn't want to do that. Plus, we know that if it was a match of wits, I would definitely win. So... <laughs> No, yeah, that that was the insult. That was the insult. It was. You were right. Um, uh, you are you okay? No, no, I'm not not giving up on my train of thought. But you look like you took that one a little bit worse than the rest of them. And by a little bit, I mean a decent amount. Like you actually look kind of hurt. And I don't want to genuinely hurt you. So are you okay? Oh. No, obviously, I didn't know that. We we don't really talk to each other like that anymore. So, I mean, uh, you know, hey, I, I, I guess I just didn't know uh, that, you know, when we stopped talking, uh, you kind of, like, 
just went off on your own. I don't know. We never talked during that period of time. So uh, I'm really sorry. I, come on. Come on. Like you are, you, you just revealed a very vital piece of information to understanding the situation and a piece of information that involves a lot of uh, hard stuff to talk about. Uh, and although uh, we have been jabbing at each other and we do jab at each other and that's like our thing, I, I'm not gonna... We were like great friends for, for all of elementary and middle school. I don't, I don't know how you could possibly think that as much as I could have changed, I'm going to be a person who's going to laugh at you talking about your, your dad being verbally abusive to you. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, stepdad. You're right. I, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I promise. I, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, 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 it's weird for me too, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. You're probably not feeling this, obviously, but uh, I, I did enjoy hearing us talk in like a civilized manner. Really? Uh, no, I did. 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 Come on. Like, use use your brain. And I'm not saying that in an offensive way where I'm poking at you. Literally use your brain. We were great friends for like eight years. If, if you didn't think that, if you, I don't know what capacity your brain would be working at to think that I wouldn't want us to be on civilized terms <laughs> no it's of course that's what i want why would i not want us to be on civilized terms it was you it wasn't me it, it was he you know what, they're gonna come back at a certain point and that's a really deep conversation to get into and I don't really know if I have the energy and if we do have this conversation, uh, it's probably gonna spiral the night downwards and uh, from the sounds of it, you've been having a good time and I've been having a good time and I don't wanna ruin that, so. Still, still as stubborn as always in, in even po the positive context. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's not my fault that you didn't want anything to do with me. No, that's not my, f what? No, it's not my fault that you didn't want anything to do with me. I, I'm aware that like, I don't know, freshman year of high school, maybe asking you out on the first day wasn't the best idea, but you didn't have to be like, <laughs> not wanting at all anything to do with me. I, I would still have been your friend, even though you did not want me in that manner. You, ah, ah, man, really, really, really awesome thing of you to do. This is wonderful. This is so good. You're doing a great job at grabbing onto that olive branch that I've extended to you and ripping it off of the goddamn tree. Are you kidding me right now? No, 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 no. I am being so emotionally vulnerable with you. I have not been this emotionally vulnerable with anyone outside of my immediate family in like years. 
in like literal years and here i am opening up to you because you look sad and we have had so many sad moments together and one of us has cheered the other one up all the time and yeah i'm i'm, I'm just laying it all out and you have the gall to ridicule me i don't think that and that's not the person you are you're not a ridiculer so I don't know what's going on here. Sure, you are very rough around the edges. You are, you are, it's not false. You always have been, but like, I didn't think that you would be, we were at a point where you would just straight up ridicule me like you are right now. So I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and text text someone to get me out of here because I, I can't deal with this. I've been to too much therapy and I've had too many conversations uh, to, to go wherever this is going. Oh my God, and then you still have this face. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I can't believe you would sit here and lie to me about the pivotal cata catalyst of our of the downfall of our friendship i don't i don't believe that you would do that so i don't know why you are it's weird and i don't like it at all and uh, i i feel like super betrayed right now i know you don't technically owe me anything you proved that to me in the first place but come on now let's be real this is this is just cruel <sighs> i don't know what um you're still going with the bit and it's like stop like i figured out that the bit like you don't have to keep going with the bit it's already hurt me enough i don't those are tears those are tears uh okay i know a lot about you uh, and I know that tears aren't given out easily. So I am inclined to believe that you are telling the truth. So that then begs the question, if I think that you didn't like me... And you thought that I didn't like you. But we both actually liked each other. How did that happen? Uh, sure, I guess. Because now I am more befuddled than I've ever been in my entire life. So here's the chain of events on my end and we'll compare them to your end and then that's that's how it'll work. I literally go up to you, first day, both waiting for our parents and I ask you if you would like to be my girlfriend. That is how that works. You stand there and don't say a single word for, I, I have to imagine it's two minutes, waiting for anything. Eventually my mom pulls up and, well, he picks me up. Yeah, no, this, this is all like registering. Good, good, good. You remember this the same way. Uh, and then I go home, and then uh, I come to school the next day, and you're not there, and then I get a text message from you saying you don't want anything to do with me. Nothing anything and and obviously i'm paraphrasing and obviously i'm uh saying that there was a lot more a lot more about how uh you couldn't believe i would do that you're i ruined something that was so good uh just stay out of my life please things along those lines uh and so i did do that okay your turn
yeah, that you're, yep, that's exactly what happened. We describe, okay, so inciting incident remembered the same way. Oh, okay. okay, no, that makes sense that that is what happened. I I understand uh, needing a little time. I'm, you, your mom was always like so lenient with the absences, so I get that. Uh, but the text message still not explained. Mm, okay. Okay. So, if what you are saying is true, <laughs> then Bethany Martinez ruined our friendship? For why? Why would she do that? What would compel her to do that? She, she was... Oh my god. Oh. Okay. So, let's go over this before we delve into the Bethany thing. Because that's not gonna... That's gonna, like, really make me angry. The, 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 that day at school that you were not there. I was worried. Bethany Martinez comes over to your house, who is your best friend at the time, and also a good friend of mine, uh, the three of us hanging out on a pretty consistent basis, uh, <laughs> and she tells you that I said I wanted nothing to do with you, and that you humiliated me, and that I was livid, and I didn't want to speak to you ever again. The only person that had access to your phone that day was you, your mom, who I, I know would not do that because she would constantly talk to me and tell me how much she missed having me around the house because, you know, same neighborhood, it's gonna meet up sometimes. And Bethany Martinez. So we now have come to the conclusion that Bethany Martinez sabotaged our friendship and potential relationship because she was sick of being a third wheel in a friendship that wasn't a third wheel. But to be fair, if all of the information we have accrued up until this point is correct, would have been a third wheel. Oh my god. She's a monster. But also a genius? Because, like, were you friends with Beth? Like, after that? That's what she told me. That is what she told me. She remained friends with me and she was like, I, I totally empathize with your side more. So I'm going to be friends with you. How did she hide that from us? We went to the same school. Did we just like respect each other's boundaries so much that we stayed away from each other that much to not notice that Bethany was hanging out with both of us? We got played by a 13 year So you mean to tell me <laughs> that the two of us have been carrying uh, this hatred and grudge that eventually turned into a rivalry, uh, that eventually turned into just like being uncordial, all of that, uh, up until this moment. Because a 13 year old played us over petty bullshit. This is revelatory news. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you even talk to Bethany anymore? Yeah, 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 yeah. She went she went to like 
Oregon State and joined like a hippie commune and I am 85% sure she is currently in jail for meth. Literal meth. No, I know there's no such thing. You, you get what I'm saying? I'm just saying the hard, like literal meth, not like a drug that's less hard than meth, literal meth. So, now that we have acquired all of this information through having a conversation that we could have just had with each other, but we were teenagers and I don't blame us for being so stubborn and stupid. What now? Yeah, no, the, the question is what now? Because I'm here and you're here and I feel terrible now that I know everything. And see, there you go. You also feel terrible now that you know everything. Um, so what do what do we what do we do? I don't I don't know what to do. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. Did you, did, did you really like me? Now, but, but if you really liked me, then why did you freeze up like that? You were like so talkative. That's like your thing. All you do is talk and you're, you're uh, nervous. I made you nervous. Then why were you always like getting on me all the time? I couldn't have made you that nervous. And I, I didn't even know if you were gonna say yes cause you kinda always got on me like that. Oh my God, no, you were a pick on flirter. Like you, 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 you like, had the like like you picked on me and that was like your flirting thing and i thought that you were just kind of had a rough shell but in all reality you were like flirting with me and you were probably like oh he's being really sweet and and uh, hey i think i yeah well at least that's something we could agree on <sighs> oh my god we were such teenagers what were we doing I don't know. I, I no. That's a that's a fair question. I never like reached out to you because I felt horrible about the situation. I felt devastated that I had breached your trust like that, and it was. It took so much for me to build up the courage to actually ask you that, and then with you be or me being told that you didn't ever want to speak to me again, I literally just. I, I backed away and I I didn't want to encroach upon your space. I wanted to give you your time. And I was like, if she wants to talk to me, maybe she'll eventually talk to me. But eventually we just fell out of each other's minds, I guess. Okay. Maybe, I, maybe you didn't fall out of my mind. Maybe every time I see you, I think about the times we would go to our secret spot and run around and... Go on that really, really, really old swing that one million percent sh should not have ever uh, lasted as long as it did. Uh, no, yeah, I've, I've thought about you. Why didn't Why didn't you approach me though? I I, I want to know. Ah. <laughs> The classic Cinderay trope. I, I see I see where we are. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Flirting. Flirting through the way of constant <laughs> poking and, and, and jabbing. Uh, and then being frozen at the first sign of romantic uh, confrontation. And then not wanting to be around and hiding your emotion. Absolutely. That's the most Cinderay thing I could possibly think of come on now be for real okay 
can I be honest with you? And I like super straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Because that this is this is a night of honesty. It definitely seems that way. Uh, I, I didn't never really stop liking you. No, because like I knew that you didn't like me, and I was fine with that, and I was fine to move on. But we followed each other. Yeah, for our entire lives at this point like same high school same college and uh i've seen the person that you've turned into uh and the person that you are when you're not around me and uh, because obviously when you know the, clearly with the conflict we're completely different people around each other uh and i i really admire you like I like when we're when we're with our friends, I, I see the way that you treat them and the way that you genuinely listen, uh, and the way that you care and the way that you rally around people. I don't know. I think you're a very special person, uh, in that regard. And I was always kind of jealous because we used to have that more than anyone else had it with each other. So I don't know. Uh, I, I I do like you. Like, as crazy as that sounds, and as much as we push at each other, I definitely think I, I, I did, did have, a, like, a crush on you this entire time. If, if that's... And it's also just not a crush, because I think a crush is unfounded. Uh, I, I, just, I still felt that connection that we had as kids. And it was starting to develop into romantic connection, uh, and I still was holding on to that feeling, I think. Okay, all right, come on. I gave you all of that, and I'm gonna get a whatever, same. Mm hmm. None, nah, I need more than that. Absolutely, I need more than that. Come on, come on. We have been done such a good job. We have been more open in this conversation than we, than we ever have been, ever, in, in the history of our friendship. So do it. Let's set a new precedent. Moving into whatever we're doing, let's set that precedent. Yeah. I can't help but smile, come on. Knowing that you felt the exact same way about me is amazing. I can't help but feel a little bit giddy at that, no? So, what? I have a proposition for you. I do, I do. What do you say? You and me reset completely to that to that first day to that first day when i asked you out on freshman year except it's now and <laughs> we're juniors in college so i'm going to i'm going to take a play out of old old me's textbook i'm going to ask you would you like to go and be my girlfriend Well, uh, now that you've said yes, there is one more thing that I was going to do, uh, and I would like to ask for permission to do that now. But I cannot do that from the other side of the room, so I am going to walk over, kneel down right in front of your face, and ask you, uh, if I may give you one singular kiss. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, that was really, really nice. Okay, that was fantastic. It was great. It was amazing. It was all of the positive adjectives you could possibly think of. You know, uh, I think we have some time before they come back, so, um, yeah, they usually do this thing for, like, an hour for some reason. Uh, if you would like to, you know, 